A lot of people ask me about um, what it's like to live with IDB's uh, standalone ECU and a light flywheel. Um, well, this is my test vehicle. It's a um, pretty much bog stock standard 325i. It's got a standard exhaust um, and it's got our ITBs, a uh, ECU master standalone ECU and our uh, lightweight flywheel. Um, I'll just show you under the bonnet. So you can see there's our um, ITB kit uh, all installed. Uh, we'll just start it. So there you go, we've got uh, pretty much a factory idle. And uh, we'll take it for a bit of a drive. Now a lot of people ask about the, um, the lightweight flywheel and the chatter. Um, as you can hear, it's not really audible. If we go under here, you can probably hear a little bit of the rattle. But um, inside the car, you can't hear anything at all. Um, see, the gearbox is um, perfectly quiet. Now, the ECU Master has a uh, a Bluetooth app where you can use a phone. I've just stuck it to the steering wheel there so you can see what's going on. Um, you see we've got RPM, we've got throttle position, we've got coolant temp, we've got uh, air temp, and you can see what gear we're in too. And this is uh, our AFR, you see we're, we're pretty stable at about 13.9 uh, at the moment. Um, so let's uh, take it for a little drive. Now where we're about to drive out, if you can see up there, it's actually quite a steep incline. Um, I'll show you what a light flywheel um, is like for uh, a hill start. Let's get out of this guy's way. Oh, our Bluetooth isn't connecting. Just wild. Uh, you got to see if we see the dash. You can see we're uh, idling pretty stable at about 750. Um, I'll show you the uh, aircon. See the idle. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but when I change um, aircon on again, pretty much stable. Doesn't change. Okay, there we go, we've, uh, we've got our back. Um, so again, you see our idle here, our fuel mixtures, if I turn the aircon off. You see it, basically the uh, status quo hasn't changed. So uh, the ECU Master has good uh, idle compensation and of course with throttle bodies, when you compensate for the idle, you also have to compensate for the fuel mixture because the throttle position isn't moved. This engine is purely set up as Alpha N 
So we're running purely off the TPS. Um, we do have the map um, signal connected just for uh, for reference, but I'm not using that for any of the tuning. So uh, anyway, here we go. Let's uh, let's go. So you see, even on a steep incline, I didn't have to use any particular large amount of RPM to uh, to do a hill start. Um, they're actually quite steep. See, there's quite a steep incline there. And you can see we're driving along, it's quite normal. Fuel mixtures are stable. Even when I accelerate. For all intents and purposes, this drives exactly like a completely stock original OEM vehicle. So, uh, just turn around here. fourth gear. Um, now if I slow right down, I'll slow right down to a thousand revs. Uh, again just to show you that a light flywheel doesn't necessarily uh, sacrifice any of your torque. And you can see I can quite comfortably pull away from a thousand revs in fourth gear. No shudder or bad vibration or anything like that. Now we'll go down here and see if we can find a bit of uh, traffic and we can see what it's like as a stop start. Quite happily can creep forward at uh, very light throttle, two percent. See, we're down to about uh, less than 20 miles an hour now. Um, still in third gear, and I can quite comfortably just accelerate away. Just rolling along in third gear at a thousand revs. There's uh, some slow cars in front of us. Uh, so no problem at all. Light flywheel, IDBs, fuel mix is a little bit lean but pretty stable. Um, I've set this up for fairly good fuel economy, so I've tried to keep the uh, AFR ratios uh, fairly high. Now, I'd just like to mention this uh, this engine has never been on a dyno um, and in fact I haven't actually spent a great deal of time on the tune um, 
you know, this is just a bit of an experimental test bed, I suppose, this car. I, I'm always uh, trying different uh, products and trying different, uh, experimenting with different things on it and different ways of tuning and things. So, um, you know, this has only been road tuned and, um, and even then there's probably room for improvement. Um, but again, because it's, uh, it's just my test bed, I don't actually spend a lot of time on it when I don't need to. <laughs> stop. Um, she's still happily idling at 800. Fuel mixtures are stable. Um, you can see we can just uh, take off with almost no revs at all from a dead stop. I mean I'll stop here and uh, show you again. It's, uh, now, again, people think that a light flywheel is going to cause an issue when you're uh, when you're taking off from the lights, or you're going to have to use a lot more engine RPM and stuff. Um, but look, well, there we go, 1,200 RPM, and I can let the clutch out and take off just as normal. No problem at all. So uh, the drivability is 100% normal. Um, I think the only real mistake you can make with a light flywheel is to mate it with a, a racing or a metallic or solid center type of clutch. Uh, so as long as you have a very sensible clutch selection um, that you mate with your light flywheel then you will have no drivability issues at all. Um, you put a very difficult clutch to use matched with a light flywheel and yes it's going to be annoying in traffic. Um, you're going to have a very sensitive pedal. Um, you're going to have a tendency for it to stall very easily. Um, but look, this has just got a, a stock standard clutch. And um, see, there we go, 1,000 RPM in third gear. We're, uh, we're going uphill now too. No problem to accelerate away. I'm not sure how you, well, you can hear the, IDBs, but they definitely have quite a nice growl. some slow cars again. Um, again, look, we're down around 1500 RPM, you know, it's no problem. I've got plenty of response if I need it. Um, there's no need to use uh, low gears all the time. Um, again, very much like an absolute original OEM drivability of this car now. Actually started off in second gear there.
So if anyone tries to say that uh, ITVs, lightweight flywheels, standalone ECUs are going to uh, compromise the day-to-day -day drivability of a vehicle, um, that's just purely not the case. Uh, if everything is set up and done correctly, um, you can have a vehicle that drives every bit as comfortably and as normally as it does in a completely original condition um, with all the benefits of, uh, of the modifications that you've done. So um, here we are back again. Thanks for watching.